Okay, so first up we have uh, one of the original Go organizers, organizers of the Jab Meetup, who has not been. So they asked me to do this five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> you can imagine the level of preparation for something to Many, many years ago, approximately six, um, we we realized that the Americans were having a lot of fun with their, their dev meetups. Um, I think they were predominantly focused in the US. And there were maybe a few satellite events globally. Not more than five, I reckon. Um, back then, Tequila, which was a company that used to exist, had just started. I was the CEO of that company. And uh, I had a few other people that I knew, like this man over here with the mighty, mighty beard, um, that had been involved in setting up events for other technologies, Google, Google, right? Um, so I, I called a guy called Kavendra Patel, worked for Salesforce in the US, and I said, why can't we have this kind of fun over in the UK? And he's like, sure, you guys have, you can have a lot of fun, I'm gonna throw a lot of money at you and some schwack. You set up the event and, uh, and you dish out the pizza, dish out the beer, dish out the free stuff. Um, we had to do it very, very quickly uh, back in the day. It was a different time. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know if any of you know Jeff Douglas, pretty uh, famous guy. Uh, I had just completed writing a book with Jeff Douglas. Um, you shouldn't buy it. It's way out of date now. <laughs> way out of date now. Um, and I've never met the guy in person. We collaborated across the ocean, writing a book, and he was visiting with his wife in London. Um, and so I said, let's put together an event, take this guy over, and uh, have a huge party. And so we did. Um, the first meetup, being British, of course, was at a pub, which was down there somewhere, actually. Maybe down there somewhere. <laughs> Nearby and down. Um, we had some amazing talks the first time around. None of them recorded, so unfortunately, you cannot hear the amazing things that we discussed. Best talks ever in the past six years. Uh, there are a few embarrassing photos, if you know what to Google for. Um, and that was about it. And I think two years after that, I went AWOL from the uh, meetups. I haven't, I haven't been to one for three or four years. <laughs> a little embarrassing. Um, but I want to be here for, for the anniversary. Um, it's been incredible. These guys have grown it in, in, in a way that I couldn't have imagined. Um, it's a lot more official now. Look, there's a videographer. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's done great things for the community. I, I know that Salesforce has said that they're trying to replicate the success that we've had in London around the world. I don't think they've been successful yet. I think we're the most successful. Um, so thank you all for, for coming along. I hope you have a good evening. <coughs> And uh, hopefully we can have another six years, ten years, or develop a meeting. Let's see. All right. Thank you. So why did we start this? I think you guys already mentioned <coughs> the US was having really too much fun. We wanted to have some bad fun. It's not that fun over yet. Uh, but also, you know, we didn't have anything like this. We didn't have uh, a, a user group for Salesforce admins and developers, so we decided to start one ourselves. Uh, we wanted to bring like-minded geeks or nerds, Salesforce nerds together, Salesforce, um, because apparently that's a good thing to do. We've been doing it for six years now. Um, and also, we wanted to create a sp space for networking, um, you know, where the, the group is not crying or trying to get a CD off you. So, we just wanted a safe space for people to just have that look. Um, I mean, I know it's helped me. Uh, most of my, uh, I guess, career progression on the job that I've seen is through, uh, through the meetup group introduction. So, it's helped me. I hope it's helped you guys as well. So, yeah, that's it. That's why we started it. So, we thought it would be interesting to look at a few stats, <coughs> um, which we pulled from the meetup. Uh, sites that we use for people to sign up. So one thing I must say is that Meetup really sucks at getting data out there. Because I can export an attendee list of first name, last name, and that's about it. 
Um, and if I want to go and look at how many meetups we've had, how many speakers we've had, how many sponsors, I have to go to the site and I have to click into each and every bloody meetup we've oh. done here. <laughs> and that worked for about 71 meetups, but then we worked on meetup originally. The first one we signed up was on a Google Sheet, based is better to Keeler's site, I think, by Wes. Um, and after that, we had to, it was quite a lot of word of mouth before we finally landed on Meetup. So I had to go back to some blogs that people had done back in the day, figure out who talked. Um, there's a number of recorded videos still on the Skills Matter website, which is where we held a lot of our early talks. So you can see us all young and cat, like you said, isn't it? Um, back, when it <coughs> back when it was okay to get drunk and then give a talk. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking while talking was typically the way we did things then. So 1,750 members, which is pretty cool. Um, some of those are left, um, but not very many. Um, we seem to keep growing and we had keep people. Um, we had 75 meetups in various locations over six years. Um, not too many in the first couple of years, because we were able to get into a canes, but now we do them typically once a month and sometimes a bit more than once a month, depending on what's going on. Are we the third largest meetup? Is that Bangalore? Yeah, I think so. There's Bay Area, Bangalore, and us. I think we've got us and Bangalore, and Net to Net, Net to Net, and then they suddenly got another. 300 out of nowhere. Portland, as far as I'm concerned, for some of my <laughs> members are far on out in the uh, Far East. Um, we've had 87 different speakers, which is great, because if you look at the first sort of three or four meetups, it was typically the same few people talking each time, but as time's gone on, we've had loads and loads of different speakers. So I used to do a lot of speaking in the early days because we didn't have that many people who would do it, whereas I've spoken for about three years, which is awesome, apart from doing this kind of thing. Um, we've had 19 sponsors, which again is great because we used to be mainly sponsored by Tequila in the early days um, and we struggled a bit to find other sponsors. Um, but we've had a load of uh, different companies sponsor, some of them Salesforce partners, some of them Salesforce users, some of them just generally like technology and want to provide a space for um, people who are interested in that technology to meet, which is awesome. Um, Make Positive our most frequent sponsor at 19 events, which I think we're pretty much back to back as well. We that over a year, going to Make Positive every, uh, every fourth Thursday or every fourth Wednesday or whatever it was which is great. Um, we've also had 20 Salesforce execs come over to speak to us over the years, um, which may not sound like a lot, but quite a lot of the other developer groups around the country get like zero in how many years they've been going, because we take them a bit for granted, but of course they don't want to come to us because they're over here and why wouldn't they? Um, but actually, we're really lucky uh, if you compare us to uh, loads of them around the world, really. We, we did get uh, you know, the likes of Skip Sauls, Doug Shazman, um, coming over to, to do a lot of talks for us to um, tell us what's coming up in the roadmap, etc. Um, so, all in all, um, some pretty good stats, I think. And now I'll hand over to Joe for a few contacts. So, I'll try to be quick because I know I'm standing between you and more beer. Um, so, max meetups in a month. We kept three in June 2014. And I thought I would do the fun facts because as Wes rotated out, I rotated in. <laughs> um, so, as a new member, I thought I'd do like, something less serious. Most talks in one meetup, five. Not a panel, not a lightning talk, which is a five minute talk. Longest talk, it went on for what felt like hours. Who was that? <laughs> that was there, June 2014. Yeah. It was really interesting, but boy was he long. <laughs> Shortest talk. Anyway, two minutes. So basically, when you sit up, that's something you sat back on. Well, it sits up there. <laughs> Pretty much. One slide, the perfect number of slides. <laughs> well, I asked, um, what's that, programmatic visual post components, whether it's a good idea or a bad idea. Most of us agree, bad idea, and nobody's used it ever since, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty effective. So we did some quirky math. We tried to figure out estimated beer and pizza consumed. We figured 75 meetups, roughly 10 pizzas, and come back to about 750 pizzas. And beer, we just put infinity. <laughs> Couldn't do that on that. So, another fun fact. Anybody at the CTA panel in November 2014? No? Was that Sherpas? Yes, that was, yeah, that was Pizzagate. Yeah. That was when, and you forgot to order enough pizza. So, there had to be additional orders of pizza. There was a lot, of, there was like a hundred and something, like a hundred and twenty. Well, we had 100 RSVPs, and I assumed, as usual, that we would get around 50 people. But because it was a CTA panel, and back then we didn't have, well, even now, we don't have a lot of information, there was a lot of interest, and instead of 100, 120 people turned up. And uh, some of them were not even registered. So uh, that's why there was a pizza case, not my fault. So we never allowed to order pizza again. Also, I have one more fun fact that's not on the slide, and he's looking at me going there. You notice all the fun facts 
sure about Luke. <laughs> Luke's fun. <laughs> Also, our longest night you can have organizer. I'm fastest to ever offend an entire room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joint dev with meetup last year. Right. We'll leave it there. Yeah. Anyone who wants to know more about that, just come talk to me. I'd yeah. love telling that story. And thank you. Thanks for being with us for the last six years, and we're hoping for. Six, twelve, something. For as long as like Salesforce and Doug stuff's going on. So hashtags, tweet, do whatever. Thanks for coming. And thank you, uh, Mobile Caddy, for the um, videoing and Salesforce and everybody that came out tonight.